Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this recording, we'll show how Solid Camp has improved in handling of large parts. If we take a look at the file that I have on my screen, you can see that this particular part is 72 megabytes as far as the size of the part goes, which is relatively a large part. So we'll open the part itself into SolidWorks, and then we'll start creating the SolidCam project. Now, note, I will not edit any of the recordings from this point on, just to show exactly how long it actually takes to work with a part like this. Now, normally in the past, when working with a part like this, it would take a good few minutes, even sometimes 15 to 20 minutes, just to set up the part because of the size of the part and the faceting of the parts. Now when I start, we'll start with SolidCam and add a new milling project, and I'll just accept it at this point. From this point, as usual, it's actually just copying the part itself into an assembly folder, and then we'll be working on the design model just as in the past. From that point on, you'll see that creating a home position and stock and target will go a lot faster than it has been doing in the past. Now, I'm going to place a little stopwatch on the top of my screen over here so that we can see exactly how long it's actually taking. I'll start by going to coordinate system let me start the clock itself. And now I'll click on the surface to create my home position. I'll click on that surface over there and you'll see that the actual amount of time at creating a home position has already been done. It's already creating this home position. We'll wait a moment or two more. Now I created also the box around the part and now we'll just click on OK to accept the part and we've created our home position on this large part in less than 30 seconds. Creating the stock, again, just like before, we'll touch on any surface that we have over here. It's creating this stock around the part, and you'll see right now it's going up to 45, 40, approximately 50 seconds since we actually started defining the home position. We'll click on OK. And now we'll create the target as well. Creating the target just as before, we're now into about a minute. We'll be at about a minute and 10 seconds into the part as shown here since I actually started defining the home position. And as you can see in a moment, that the part will actually be defined as my target using, a, in fact, in this particular case, a very tight facet tolerance of 0.001 millimeters. And that will actually be a very tight part for, uh, for any part in that fence, and especially if it's a very large part as the one we have over here. We're finished at this point. I'll just click on OK. And now we've finished creating my project. You'll note that the amount of time that we have on the project itself was one minute and 48 seconds until we actually finish creating the part itself. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.